हेलो माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर तुषार गुजराती फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग येवला टुडे विल स्टडी अनदर टॉपिक बेस्ड ऑन मेकेट्रॉनिक सब्जेक्ट द नेम ऑफ टॉपिक इज ब्लॉक डायग्राम फंडामेंटल्स सो इन मेकेट्रॉनिक्स द सिस्टम्स आर शोन विद दल ऑफ ब्लॉक डायग्राम्स सो इनपुट आउटपुट प्रोसेस सेंसर्स एक्चुएटर्स सो ऑल द स्टेप्स आर शोन विद दल ऑफ ब्लॉक डायग्राम्स सो नाउ वील स्टडी द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ दिस ब्लॉक डायग्राम्स सो इंट्रोडक्शन सो ब्लॉक डायग्राम इज अ शॉर्ट हैंड ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ अ फिजिकल सिस्टम सो एनी फिजिकल सिस्टम वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट विद दल ऑफ ग्राफिकल इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ब्लॉक डायग्राम इलिस्ट्रेटिंग the functional relationship among its components so it gives us relationship between the components also or a block diagram is a short hand pictorial representation of the cause and effect relationship of a system so cause and effect means what if we give input what will be the output of any system so this representation can be done with the help of block diagrams <coughs> so the simplest form of the block diagram is the single block with one input and one output so the interior of the rectangle representing the block usually contains a description of or the name of the element or the symbol for the mathematical operation to be performed on the input to yield the output the arrow represent the direction of information or signal flow so this means that this is the block okay and x is input to this block and y is output to this block and inside this block what we write we write description or name of the element or we write mathematical operation to be performed so in this block d by dt is nothing but mathematical operation to be performed and x and y are input and output respectively so this is very simple representation of block diagram so the operations of addition and subtraction have a special representation so for solving complicated blocks we require some reduction principles so we go for addition and subtraction of blocks okay the blocks become a small circle called a summing point so there is one summing point is there which adds or subtracts the blocks or inputs so summing point has either plus or minus sign associated with the arrows entering the circle so summing point has plus or minus signs associated with the arrows entering the circle any number of inputs may enter a summing point so summing point may have any number of inputs and the output is algebraic sum of these inputs so the output is algebraic sum of these inputs and some books put a cross in the circle sometimes like this cross is written inside the circle okay so now you see the diagram now one circle is shown so to this circle there are two inputs x and y and on the both the lines or both the arrows positive sign is written that's why the output of the summing point is x plus y so there is addition of two inputs and we get one output as x plus y similarly now you check second diagram in the second diagram the horizontal arrow has plus sign having x input and vertical arrow has negative sign having y input okay so therefore on output side we get output as x minus y so it takes positive sign of x input and negative sign of y input and adds the both inputs so we get on output side x minus y now you check third example so in the third example you can check that the circle has three inputs x y and z and all the three inputs has positive sign you can check the arrows each arrow has positive sign so that's why on output side we get addition of all the three inputs that is x plus y plus z okay so like this we can get addition of 
inputs or subtraction of inputs now here one more example is shown where two inputs are there and one output is there but that circle has cross inside the circle okay so this cross is written inside the circle so this is same representation of summing point okay so all the four diagrams are same actually all the four are summing points only now the components of a block diagram for a linear time invariant system so we have to study the system components are alternately called elements of the system so suppose there are many blocks in one system so that block is called as element of the system so block diagram has four components so first component is signals second component is system oblique block third is summing point or summing junction and last one is pick up pick off or take up points so these points are very important pick up and take up points while solving complicated problems okay so let's study one by one everything so now you see the diagrams so first here it is shown that is signals okay so one arrow is there and on that arrow the name of signal is written that is r of s or c of s okay so these are called as signals arrow are called as signals now second you check system so system is nothing but one element or one block is present and to that block input and output is given so this is input and this is output to this block and inside the block we have to write mathematical operator or name of the system here it is written g of s okay now you check third point it is summing junction so just we have seen so summing point has many inputs so here in this case they have shown three inputs first is r1 of s second is r2 of s and third input is r3 of s and we get output as a addition of all the three inputs so r1 of s has positive sign r2 of s has positive sign but r3 of s has negative sign so addition of all the three inputs will get output as something like this so this is our output here c of s is equal to r1 of s plus r2 of s minus r3 of s okay and last point this is pick up point last d option so in this case suppose one input is horizontal line so from that any point inputs are taken on above and below so here one input is taken and here also one input is taken so whatever this point is there so this point is called as pick up point so from that point we have picked different inputs from the same input line okay so you understand this so all the three lines have same input r of s r of s r of s only we have taken it on different lines that's why it is called as pick up point okay so now in order to have the same signal or variable to be an input to more than one block or summing point a take up point is used so what is necessary of take up point so in the diagram you see now x is input and this input is divided into three lines x x x so that point is called as take up point okay so you read, you read now first statement in order to have the same signal or variable be an input to more than one block or summing point a take up point is used okay now second line it distributes the input signal undiminished to several output points so input signal is divided into several output points this permits the signal to proceed unaltered along several different paths to several destinations so this permits the signal to proceed unaltered along several different paths to several destinations now you check in second diagram also in the second diagram we can take same input backward also okay so x is input and we have taken it backward in two parts x x okay so this is take up point so we can use take up point on both the sides we can take the signal along forward path also along backward path also okay so this is the use of take up point now just take example so what is example consider the following equations in which x1 x2 x3 are variables 
एंड ए वन ए टू आर जनरल कोफिशेंट फॉर मैथमेटिकल ऑपरेटर्स सो इक्वेशन इज रिटर्न हियर एक्स थ्री इज इक्वल टू ए वन एक्स वन प्लस ए टू एक्स टू माइनस फाइव ओके सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन नाउ वी हैव टू रिप्रेजेंट दिस इन द इन टर्म्स ऑफ ब्लॉक्स ओके सो हियर वी आर यूजिंग वन समिंग पॉइंट सो अवर फर्स्ट इनपुट इज हियर ए वन एक्स वन सेकेंड इनपुट इज ए टू एक्स टू एंड थर्ड इनपुट इज फाइव ओनली वट वे टू डू वे टू राइट द पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव साइंस ऑन द एरोज सो ए वन एक्स वन एरो हैज पॉजिटिव साइन ए टू एक्स टू हैज पॉजिटिव साइन बट फाइव नंबर एरो इज हैज नेगेटिव साइन सो दैट्स वाई इफ वी गेट एडिशन ऑफ ऑल द थ्री इनपुट्स वील गेट द रिक्वायर्ड इक्वेशन ऑन द आउटपुट सो एक्स थ्री इज इक्वल टू ए वन एक्स वन प्लस ए टू एक्स टू माइनस फाइव ओके now you can write the same equation something like this also so you can write x1 as input and you can write the constant a1 in the block and on the output side you will get a1 x1 similarly on second line you can write x2 and inside the block you can write a2 so you, you will get a2 x2 on output side and third line will be 5 so like this also you can represent you can write constants in the block okay so like this also representation can be done <coughs> now let's discuss one more example so consider the following equation in which x1 x2 xn are variables and a1 a2 an are general coefficients for mathematical operators therefore the equation is xn is equal to a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus an minus 1 xn minus 1 okay this is the example number 2 now for this example the block diagram is something like this so the summing point is shown over here so first line is nothing but x1 and inside the block we write constant a1 so output is a1 x1 so this is our first line okay this is first line now in the second line we have written x2 a2 a2 x2 okay so both have positive signs now in this equation we are using n number of inputs that's why we had written directly last one that is x n minus 1 inside the block a n minus 1 and output a n minus 1 x n minus 1 and all these are added together in the summing point and on the output side we will get this equation x n we get the equation so this is one generalized block diagram for such a equations so now example number 3 draw the block diagrams of the following equations so x2 is equal to a1 dx upon dt plus 1 upon b integration of x1 dt x3 equal to a1 dt x2 by dt square plus a3 dx1 upon dt minus bx1 so these are two equations are written so you can try to this solve at your home and write down in comment box what is the answer now we will study topologies we will now examine some common topologies for interconnecting subsystems and derive the single transfer function representation for each of them now <coughs> the systems are made from subsystems so subsystems are interconnected together to form one system okay so such a subsystems are solved to get one single transfer function so these common topologies will form the basis for reducing more complicated system to a single block so now you check this line <coughs> reducing more complicated systems to a single block what we have to do in this case we have to reduce complicated systems means there are many blocks are there 10 to 15 blocks are there and we have to reduce those blocks into a single block so for this purpose there are rules and regulations are available so we'll study rules in our next video okay so just we see the introductory part okay So just we'll see the simple forms cascade. Cascade is nothing but series when blocks are connected in series. Okay. So you remember this cascade meaning of cascade is blocks are in series. Okay. So when blocks are connected in series, we get equivalent. Okay, equivalent in terms of multiplication of the blocks. Suppose <coughs> there are n blocks are there. so each block is having 
ट्रांसफर फंक्शन ऑफ जी वन जी टू जी थ्री अप टू जी एन ओके सो द फाइनल इक्वेल एंड सिंगल ब्लॉक विल हैव एंसर एज मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस ब्लॉक्स जी इज इक्वल टू जी वन इंटू जी टू इंटू जी थ्री इंटू जी एन ओके सो लाइक दिस वेन ब्लॉक्स आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज और कैसकेडेड वी हैव टू डू मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस ब्लॉक्स ओके सो यू रिमेंबर दिस सो हियर एग्जाम्पल इज शोन सो इन दिस केस यू कैन सी दैट देर आर टू ब्लॉक्स आर शोन ओके सो फर्स्ट ब्लॉक इज जी वन एंड सेकेंड ब्लॉक इज जी टू ओके सो हियर ओवरऑल इनपुट इज ई एंड ओवरऑल आउटपुट इज सी ओके सो नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू ओनली सिंगल ब्लॉक सो वेन वी कन्वर्ट इन इन टू सिंगल ब्लॉक वट एपन्स वी हैव टू डू ओनली मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो वी हैव मल्टीप्लाइड बोथ द ब्लॉक्स दैट इज जी वन इन टू जी टू सो दिस इज जी वन इन टू जी टू एंड वी हैव टू राइट ओवरऑल इनपुट एंड ओवरऑल आउटपुट सो इज अवर ओवरऑल इनपुट एंड सी इज ओवरऑल आउटपुट ओके सो मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ ट्रांसफर फंक्शन इज कम्युलेटिव दैट इज जी वन जी आई जी जे इज इक्वल टू जी जे इंटू जी आई सो यू मल्टीप्लाई जी वन इंटू जी टू और जी टू इंटू जी वन सो इट इज कम्युलेटिव फॉर एनी आई और जे सो लाइक दिस यू रिमेंबर वी हैव टू डू ओनली मल्टीप्लीकेशन नो दिस इज वन मोर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कैसकेड सो हियर इन दिस केस यू सी नाउ थ्री ब्लॉक्स आर शोन जी वन ऑफ एस जी टू ऑफ एस एंड जी थ्री ऑफ एस लाइक दिस देर आर थ्री ब्लॉक्स आर शोन ओके and overall input is r of s and overall output is c of s okay so in the simple terms what we <coughs> you have to do we have to only multiply these three blocks g1 g2 and g3 and we have to write input and output r of s and c of s this is our equivalent transfer function okay so like this you can solve cascade problems so our final answer is the equivalent transfer function is जी ई वी कैन डिनोट इक्वेल एंड एच जी ई ऑफ एस इज इक्वल टू जी थ्री ऑफ एस जी टू ऑफ एस एंड जी वन ऑफ एस लाइक दिस यू कैन डू द मल्टीप्लीकेशन ओके नाउ सेकेंड टाइप इज पैरल फॉर्म सो पैरल सब सिस्टम्स हैव अ कॉमन इनपुट एंड आउटपुट फॉर्म बाय द अल्जेब्रिक सम ऑफ आउटपुट फ्रॉम ऑल ऑफ द सब सिस्टम सो नाउ हियर वेन द ब्लॉक्स आर इन पैरल वेन सब सिस्टम्स आर पैरल एंड दे हैव कॉमन इनपुट एंड आउटपुट common input and output then we have to do algebraic sum of outputs then we will go for algebraic sum like this so here in this case you can see g1 of s is parallel to g2 of s okay both the blocks are parallel so here input input is r of s and output is c of s okay so like this it's input and output as provided so what we have to do we have to only add these two blocks okay so now this is example is shown parallel form so now here you can check three inputs are shown g1 of s g2 of s and g3 of s like these three inputs are there and one summing point is provided so here output is addition of all the three inputs so like this here we will get g1 of s plus g2 of s plus g3 of s but we have to check here signs whether it is positive or negative sign if it is positive we have to take positive if it is negative then we have to take negative For general equation, we have shown here plus minus sign. Okay, so that's why here everywhere you will get plus minus g1 plus minus g2 plus minus g3. So like this, blocks are added in case of parallel form. Okay, so equivalent transfer function is written in the block that is g e of s is equal to plus or minus g1 of s plus or minus g2 of s plus or minus g3 of s. Okay, so like this parallel form can be shown. so thank you so much all of you for watching this video so in this video we understood how we can re represent a block and how we can solve sub systems into single system parallel and series form okay that we have studied here so thank you so much all of you for watching this video